Hey chat, let's chat. So if you pay any attention to our social media, you've noticed I've put out a couple little varying uh, snippets of like, hey, I'm like realistically may not be in content period moving forward. And I want to kind of give a little clarification to that, right? I never fully plan on never creating content again, right? What I am meaning is one, there will come a point where I am not reachable on social media, right? Um, outside of possibly Messenger, I realized over the the course of the last couple of years that social media has become increasingly toxic and just a complete cesspool. I might keep a private. I might not. I might just delete everything. I just don't care at this point, right? I will keep Instagram for my other stuff because that is like the bare minimum of the field that I'm in at this point, right? But realistically, outside of that, I, I just don't care, right? I, I genuinely don't care. So, <laughs> there's that aspect of things, right? And the, social media also includes this. And I realistically am having the time of my life doing what I'm doing now. And with what I've been offered and accepted last week, that has a chance to sprout into me doing this full time. So that means that I realistically will not know what my life will look like by the end of this year. And that's why I gave myself that time of like, by the end of the year, I will make my final decision on who becomes the server owner for the Discord, who will run the day-to-day -day of this channel, and who will, you know, basically be spearheading this. Because there's a lot of logistics, because... This has been registered to me, right? This channel is registered to me. I pay the tax burden on it. I pay the tax burden on the Twitch, right? And that will go till the end of the year regardless, right? And that's what, another reason why I gave myself to the end of the year. What that means is somebody will become the new owner of this channel essentially in that aspect of things it may still technically legally be mine depending on what youtube has to say with things and they just run the day-to-day -day of it and i just continue paying the tax burden the same goes for the twitch and they are free to stream whatever the fuck they want to stream you know in that regard on the control chaos side of things i'll keep my vex the chaos bringer stuff and all of that there also comes a a point where I genuinely am just burn out on a lot of the aspects of content creation. I've been doing this for the better part of a decade at this point, right? It's coming up on actually like a decade since this channel was created, even though it's sat dormant for a little while, right? And spearheading that Twitch, yada yada. I genuinely want to sit back and enjoy my hobbies again as just hobbies and not with the fact of putting this on. I plan on continuing a few things, at least for now. Obviously, Chainsaw Man takes basically zero effort, so I'll probably continue that till the series ends. And then what happens to Cat Squared is Red's business, right? I don't foresee myself ever fully stepping back from this like i will be doing the um power rangers stuff until we're done with that i might pop into the naruto i might not that will be when that happens right and that is the glory of having a team that i can fully trust like luke and tyler and party champs and ann arbor they've all been phenomenal at creating new types of content for this channel and this brand the total drama watch along sh stuff that uh luke and them have been doing has been another wake-up call to having new blood on this and i'm very happy with what they have planned with the ben 10 stuff and a lot of the other ideas that they've been brainstorming in the discord server it all seems like wonderful new and fresh types of content that realistically don't take a lot of effort and they seem like they're genuinely having the time of their life doing it. And I don't want to force myself into that type of content as 
this, you know, boss, essentially. Like, hey, I need to be in this. No, I, I don't want to do that. I want them to have the freedom to do whatever the fuck they want. And they've been phenomenal parts of this community, and that is why I brought them in to do this type of stuff. Because I realize, like, New Blood is always this breath of fresh air for any kind of business, right? And I realize, like, this is the least professional fucking business on the planet. We made the hentai devil skit. We made, you know, clip bullet a thing. We made come wall a running joke. But at the end of the day, like, this needs to be where I take this full step back and be like, hey, this is your project now. Um, how much of a step back will ultimately be determined by like some stuff that's going on behind the scenes that i'm not going to fully relegate and vocalize until i know the results of that but luke knows red knows what's going on um because they're the two that have been spearheading a lot of the projects you know luke with the the watch along series the every blank ever as i dubbed it and then Red, obviously, with Cast Squared and the Chainsaw Man content and any of the other manga content that I would be a part of, right? So I feel like they need to be privy to what's going on behind the scenes and a big reason of why I'm kind of letting them just do whatever the fuck they want. But yeah, there's more health-related reasons on the other side of things is what I'll say. Um... And then, obviously, like, when you don't know what your schedule is going to be from one week to the next, you really can't set, like, hey, at 4 o'clock, let's film this thing. When you could be on a plane to fucking, you know, Birmingham, and then uh, two days later, you're over there in fucking Bristol, and then you're back in fucking the U.S., right? You, you just can't really have any set schedule for recording for something like that, and that is another huge reason to what has been going on so with that being said this has been a phenomenal experience this has been uh you know this has given me something to kind of force me out of my bubble and has given me the chance to do something like what i'm doing now because if i hadn't you know taken the leap from creating content to doing improv to doing open mics to you know forcing myself into the scene that I'm in now, I would have zero chance to have gotten anywhere with my hobbies or what I enjoy. So with that aspect, thank you so very much for giving me a platform and an opportunity to do incredible things in the world. But until that time comes, you'll still see my ugly face and you'll get to experience at least the end of the Power Rangers franchise with me. So, peace.